You know, uh, the concept of the Indo-Pacific is not that new because uh, Prime Minister Abe, for example, in his first um, cabinet, that's in 2006-2007, uh, he gave a speech at the uh, uh, Indian Parliament, if I'm not mis mistaken, and he talks about the confluence of the two seas, that is the Pacific and the Indian Ocean. Um, but after his uh, uh, recovery, I mean, his arrival as the second, um, for the second time as Prime Minister, uh, he's been uh, clearer about uh, the concept. And it was in 2016 at the TICAT meeting, the Tokyo uh, International Conference on African Development. That year it was held in Kenya. And then he talked again about the Indo-Pacific and the fact that the Indian Ocean actually links two areas, that is uh, Asia, um, the very uh, vibrant growing Asia, and the African continent, which is full of potential. Uh, so that's how uh, it developed. And most recently, I think it was from about two years ago, we have started to use the concept of vision, uh, not the strategy, but rather the vision of the uh, free and open in, in the Pacific. So that's how our concept of the vision of the Indo-Pacific, free and open Indo-Pacific has evolved.